So the story is police were looking for a bandit. Uh -huh. The driving a specific kind of car, run into a car, start lick a set a shot. Now hit the car, the lick a shoot sh sh up in the air or whatever to do. The car driver goes straight to Providence and found out that the car was driven by a police rank who was in uniform at the time. Right. What do you want me to say? So I, I'm, I'm informed that the um, policeman that attempted to spill the beans on the paper shards murder is on half pay so they call that interdiction i think you're saying that one of the police that were in the shoot up went in the quinton back a shooting exactly yes oh so that's gonna make it an interesting story because i want to know what's the story if you yes, yeah, like fraser when i was a youth my fraser shoot up behind me car me two doors silica camry had a two bullet hole inside of fraser put inside there you know something that is common in this shooting of Sergeant Payne? The same policeman, I think his name is Sunil Pasad or something like that, that was named as the chief book and bottle washer in the Quindon Bacchus murder. And ranks were, in, were instructed not to put his name in any report. That has surfaced again in this matter. So the story is police were looking for a bandit uh -huh. that driving a specific kind of car, run into a car, start lick a set a shot. Now hit the car, the lick a sh 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 up in the air or whatever to do. The car driver goes straight to Providence and found out that the car was driven by a police rank who was in uniform at the time. Right. What do you want me to say? And I'm learning, I'm hearing, I'm told that pain suffered two gunshot wounds. Maybe they're not life-threatening. He has been promised financial compensation so that he still will stay low. Well, you still didn't get your ticket? This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. The news is buzzing right now. Everybody's talking about it. What's going on in the GPF? The GPF got so many headlines right now. It's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up with the headlines buzzing about the Guyana's policing force. We have one sergeant transcended, rising power. Condolences to your family. We have another sergeant, 88 rungs. In this video right here, you're going to have new revelations about what's going on in the paper shards case. You're going to hear some striking revelations about what's going on with Quinton Bacchus case and one of them same shootings that I just talked about. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about it on both sides of the media in Guyana. Whether it's the side with critic or it's the other side, both sides, both parties is getting involved in this conversation. It is trending. What's going on with Quentin Bacchus' case? What's going on in the paper shards case? New revelations. What's going on with Bascom? Dion Bascom. We can hear directly from Buxton, Kadaki, and we can hear directly from Critic on all of these matters. What's trending in Guyana right now when it comes down to the Quindin Bacchus case? Oh, y'all yeah, thought it was years ago. Nah, it's relevant right now. Y'all yeah, thought it gone away. Nah, it's relevant right now. It's fresh. It's fresh, as fresh as the headline with Sergeant Payne and the shooting. So the story is police were looking for a bandit uh -huh. that driving a specific kind of car, run into a car, start lick a set a shot. Now hit the car, the lick a sh sh shoot up in the air or whatever to do. The car driver goes straight to Providence and found out that the car was driven by a police rank who was in uniform at the time. Right. 
Where you want me to say? This is true. The story is contradicted because every news media and everything carry a different story because the, the opposite thing or whatever it is that they don't want to implement that being implementing a quick on back of story. This is the second time you name calling. You understand? I just wanted to prove Oh, so you're me telling me. No, no, here, 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 here. Now, uh, you giving me information that me and know you're suggesting that one of the well, ranks were part of the shoot up. Allegedly. Yeah, but you're saying that one of the police uh, that were in the shoot up went in the Quinton back a shooting? Exactly, yes. Oh, so that's going to make it an interesting story. Because I want to know what's the story, if you yeah, understand. Yeah, like Fraser, when I was a youth, my Fraser shoot up behind me car. Me, two doors, Silica Camry had a two bullet hole inside of Fraser put inside there. Okay. Right? So, okay. shooting up car is not nothing new to me. Me, car get shoot up all already too. I understand, but I said, you see what number four? Yeah, yeah. No, well, I got, I got, um, I got, I got, I got look into it. That there, that there is not a story for talk about before the fact. That there, like how you bring it to me okay. attention and I see something going on in the group, in the media group. I didn't realize. Okay. So people are asking, where going? Where the investigation leading? Who is the people? And so, so questions are asking. As the questions are answered by the Ghana police force, then the story is going to come out. But the news, they're not answering, they're not, the news entity is going to them or questioning them, but they're not even answering them. No, no, this thing don't happen, so they got no question, no question. Here I'm now. All news uh, entities, including myself, uh, I'm part of a media group. It's called a police press group. Okay. So we just put in the group, the, the, the head of the um, police public relation is a guy by the name of Mark Ramatar. The deputy is uh, Stan Gavaya. They have a unit. So we put in the group. They know what has happened. The media unit goes to whatever region or what and asks the commander for the information or report. That report is given, put in the media group, and you read. That's how we get it. If you notice... You just got the police statement, right? Okay, so sir. people ain't supposed to got diff this body acts, and everybody's do the thing. Um, um, Big Smith got a lot of connection to the police, so he would call a police direct and ask for a was the take or ask somebody what going on inside. But there's a group that everybody puts in. This is what we want to know about. Yes, yeah, sir. Sometimes okay. the answer, sometimes yeah, they don't answer. And everybody see, but because news entities are business entities also. There is rivalry and people would come out of the group now and go and ask themselves or try to forget the scoop first. You understand? Okay. So when I yeah, watch it, for I don't jump nothing. If anybody sends somebody answer, some people might answer in guard mostly in the group. Uh, guard mostly asks the, ask the question. And when the police answer in the group, I take a run with the story too. You understand? Okay. Or if I ask I'm something sure. relevant, pertinent in the group. And the people that answer me, remember, it's in the group. God knows they don't turn your face and care. Like, what is a big story? But it's critical. Like this. So, no, no, no. It's for everybody. It's for media. Likely. And a man with the rank of sergeant is going to carelessly put himself in a line of fire on the hunt for a wanted uh, man for a prison escapee. I wonder. What really transpired there for that sergeant to be shot three times? Maybe y'all could ask Robson then because he seems to know everything. He knows how fire mentioned dress and so on to out fire and so on and so forth. Right, so I want to find out more about that. Somebody asked Robson then, what is the likelihood of that sergeant being as careless as he is made to seem if I can say that? To walk in the line of fire, to put himself in the line of fire, to receive three shots on the hunt for a wanted man. Three shots from friendly fire. His colleagues shot him and killed him. How possible and plausible is that? I want to find out. And I want to find out why in the other instance, Sergeant Payne's vehicle was chased down and shot at the way it was shot at. And I'm learning, I'm hearing, I'm told that pain 
suffered two gunshot wounds. Maybe they're not life-threatening. He has been promised financial compensation so that he still will stay low. What if the gun was on rapid? Um, <laughs> if the gun was on rapid, the question I'm asking is if the sergeant was that incompetent that he walked in the line of fire. I want you to answer the one. Don't ask me what if the gun was on rapid. I read the investigation report. We know what the reports, well, we don't even know what the reports usually say because we never hear of them. What were the findings of the Madia fire? What are the findings of the fire by the DPP's office? Um, you know something that is common in this shooting of Sergeant Payne? The same policeman, I think his name is Sunil Pasad or something like that, that was named as the chief cook and bottle washer in the Quindon Bacchus murder. And ranks were, in, were instructed not to put his name in any report. That has surfaced again in this matter. That he was part of this death squad, I want to call it that. This killer squad. And they were instructed again to keep his name out of the reports. How about that, Miranda Brown? Why don't we get a report on why that is happening? What report? Does the PPP produce any credible reports? They haven't got to the UN. <laughs> I show the the um the the what, what, what was the, um them the mendaciousness. <laughs> Imagine um when question about the allegations against Bar Jagdio and why no police arrests or investigations, people are being told that um no reports were made. No reports were made. How many reports were made about other things in this country? Yeah, just shut it up. Okay, maybe it's a good position to say you should not take the money. But does that mean you will stay alive? Y'all yeah, forget um sergeant. There's another sergeant. What's his name? Boston or something like that? The man who spilled the beans on the paper shot murder or started spilling the beans on the paper shot murder. Where is he, by the way? After having his life and livelihood threatened and so on, where is he? The last thing I heard he was back in the police force. Right? Um, is he? A serving policeman? Miranda Brown, you can ask your and Ben for me. If that policeman, the whistleblower, is still a member of the force. So I, I'm, I'm informed that the um, policeman that attempted to spill the beans on the paper shards murder is on half pay. So they call that interdiction, I think. He's on half pay and he is prevented from traveling. So they have his passport and so on. Right? If I were that policeman, I would find the nearest back track. <laughs> <laughs> backtrack route and get out of this country because you never know when things can go south especially that critics has opened his mouth hmm. right especially that critics has opened his mouth me, I did not in a run for cover. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next flight. Do remember to hit that subscription button and stay up to date with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks, buddy. 100% wildcrafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? You guys give critics five million dollars. Is this real or is it a prank, boss? No disrespect. No, no, the man come here and said, Pops, I need five million dollars to, to go and um, settle with his family. You know, yeah, we gave him the five million dollars. Cash, he cash money, nothing. Five million dollar cash. Oh my god. <laughs>
Mas... Até a hora mesmo, até a hora, Gui, 